So would you like to transfer your Shopify store into another owner or let's say into your another account? So let's say using another uh, element here. What I want to do here is to focus into the very first part, which is actually having an actual store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started here on Shopify just in case you don't have a Shopify store. Now here we are exactly here in the Shopify. I'm going to focus into the home section, to the actual dashboard. And you might be seeing here that we have the actual uh, element of the loading page of the Shopify and all that. What I wanted to do, of course, is to prepare my store for the transfer. So firstly, preparation is key, guys, because we wanted to ensure all the payments are out to date and there are no outstanding charges. It's also a good idea to complete any pending transaction or fulfillments, inform your customers if necessary, of course, if maintaining transparency about the ownership transaction. So if you focus here inside the left part that says orders, I wanted to make sure that there's no order pending, there's no order fulfillment pending, there's no awaiting of the refund, there's nothing here into my orders. So there's no outstanding charges, there's no pending transactions, there's no fulfillment. So we've informed the customers, now let's focus into the backup of the storing the data. So let's back out the stored data of the Shopify maintains regular backups. It is wise to save a copy of an important information such as the product details, the customer list, and financial records. So for that, what you want to do is to use the Shopify export feature to download a CSV file of your product customers and the order data. I wanted to focus inside my actual store. So let's go here into sales channel. Let's go into online store. Directly here into online store, what I wanted to do is to download absolutely everything directly inside Shopify. I can download here and export a theme file to use it later on or I can use a third party application that can help me to export absolutely everything from the Shopify or even I can do this directly inside the, let's say the store section and changing my actual ownership. And for that show, of course, focusing into the store billing. So inside of the administrator panel, I'm gonna go for the settings section and go for a plan. Inside here, you can manage the store subscription. The new owner will need to enter the billing information to take the over the monthly subscription. Now let's focus inside the users and permissions. Inside here, what I wanted to do is to, let's say for example, have the collaboration request code. You wanted to only choose the only people with a collaboration request code can send a collaboration request. So you can import someone directly into the store. But today I'm going to focus into the upper side and focus into the option that says transfer ownership. Inside the transfer ownership, it's going to be, of course, appearing the email, the first, the last name, and the passcode to confirm. So if I choose, for example, this email, I'm going to go for the first, I'm going to go for the last name, and the passcode to confirm. Now, what I need to do, of course, if the new owner isn't listed as a staff member, we need, of course, to add an as a staff account and, of course, send in the actual invitation. So this is the part where I wanted to confirm the transfer and provide the necessary resources. So once the new owner accepts the invitation or the outdated details and the confirming of the transfer by removing the account access and the account, we are no longer having access directly inside our Shopify store. So it's a good practice to provide a new owner with any relevant documents, bundle context, and operational mail to support the running of the store. So I'm going to try to sign out. I'm going to look out or choose the option that says manage account so I can choose to sign into another account and accept the actual ownership of my own account. I go into logged in once again, but then instead I'm going to choose another actual account from the Shopify. I'm going to go into Google and I choose a second account in order to continue. Inside here, you can see that we have now the invitation of a store. So you can see that you have used appear into accept. If you have accepted the actual element of your store, what you want to do is to choose the option that says all the stores. And to all the stores here and to act it, you should see that your store is now been correctly active directly inside your account. And that is actually it guys. Just hit now to continue, hit to confirm, and all the elements should be appearing here inside your actual element of your store. So that is actually it guys. We have successfully transferred the Shopify store into a new ownership. You should see that we have all the orders, there's all the products, there's all the collections, all the inventory, and so much more elements guys. 
So, with that being said, guys, we're going to to the very end of the video. This process ensures that the ownership has complete control and can begin managing, uh, of course, the store immediately, guys. So if you find this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more useful shopping tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, with all that being said, you can see you to a brand new section of Sex Press. See you next time.